to order. It's um, September 12th at 2.05. And we're being with you. All right. Okay. Has everybody had a chance to look at the minutes from the last meeting? Yes. Okay. Any corrections? I just have a spelling cor correction. Again? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> After minutes, chapter 61, town council is SEL. I did that again. You know, I saw that and I'm like, ah, I remember Lisa calling me out <laughs> on this. It's no biggie. I know, but I'm forever going to get that row. Okay. Um, Chapter 61, town council is SEL. Board and um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, I put a call into the owner and um, left a message and okay. haven't heard back so. That was only a couple of days ago, so I will stay on that. Yep. Okay, now do we want to get out our maps and look at the south east edge of town and see what we have for opportunities for conservation? Could we maybe move that to the end? Okay. And just yeah, that would be good. Idea. Go yeah, through the business type of stuff. Um, I got an email from Sam Carter at CMRPC just a little while ago that said he is going to send us a paper copy and send it to us online on the Open Space Committee website. So he said it's all set to go, but I reminded him that we wanted to look at it first. Yep. So he'll get the, he's probably, you know, he said we'd do it almost today. Okay. And then we can look it over. So I just, I think we have to give it a hard look because to make sure, it, <clears throat> to me, a lot of time, well, there are two different people and a lot of time has sort of passed between the sub first submission and I think we just have to make sure that it's what we mm -hmm. the right version. Scan it from page to page. Yeah, yeah what yeah. we did with Danny because it's just curious mm -hmm. to me that it's taken so long. But. And the chapter 61, number six is chapter 61 process feedback. Now, Lisa got a letter from town administrator. No, no. Um, Matt Benoit. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Two, two corrections? Okay. No, no, I just want because we have two mats, the Matt, the administrator, and Matt, the planner. Mm -hmm. In the minutes, I think it would just be helpful if we put Matt, like even just Matt B. Okay. So we're clear about which, <laughs> which Matt. <laughs> which Matt. We're. Well, I did have his name up top here as being at the meetup. Yeah. yeah. But I'll. Uh, don't no. The helps that I have to correct that anyways. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Right, so he said the town council is good with the draft as presented, but asks that we add at the, I guess at the end of the document, this document is advisory only and is not intended to confer any rights or duties. The town and its officials may depart from these guidelines as they deem expedient. Hmm. I had a thought when I was reading that, and I didn't follow up to look to see what is required by law on Chapter 61. So there's, you know, there's some things that I don't think they can, can deviate from because isn't it a requirement? So I had thoughts about that wording because <clears throat> these are guidelines, but you're right. A good part of it is just giving guidance to the law. 
how they need to so follow maybe the law. At the end, you could say, as according to the law, within the limits of the law, or something like that. Hmm. Yeah, because yeah, otherwise it gives them a lot of wiggle. <laughs> no, yeah. they can't. Well, they can't do that anyway. Yeah, they're not supposed to. But I, just, I thought that was kind of weird. That they so I, I guess if they wanted to. They woke up one morning and decided that they didn't want to talk to us about something. I guess they could take that as their prerogative or whatever, but they still would have to follow the, the legal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but could you just say it within the law at the back, at the end, you know, which. I think they can do what they want. This is in the our town council writing this. Plus, they missed the part about the how we the last one we got was for a family unit, and because they were selling it to someone, or they were taking it out of 61 to let someone in the family build a house in amongst it, that it, what didn't need to go through people not on the boards. That's kind of missed. Well, except I think that was a that was a direction from the assessor's office, and the policy as we devised it is basically a guidance to the process when it is able to come before the town. If that makes then, sense. Then the other part isn't necessary. Yeah. I mean, I guess we'll, you know, stick this in because they, they still have to follow the law. Right. Yeah, it's a good, straightforward you know, directions on what's needed. So, can we get the flowchart made up for that to make it simple for them to follow? Yep. And then, um, do we want to ask to be put on the agenda in the near term? To present this policy to the board, yeah, yes, I think that would be a very good idea. Yeah. So I can add this, and then I'll send it with a cover that says, "Please put this on the agenda for a near a coming meeting." Mm -hmm. There we know where we will come in and got it. Uh, and have the flow chart ready by then. The org chart, whatever you call it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Keevan property road width update. <laughs> um, I did call the uh, state and Department of Transportation and they said, is it a state road? She looked it up. She goes, oh yeah, Southeast Maine. She goes, it's not a state road. I don't know how long it is. Call, call the highway mm -hmm. department. I'm like, they told me to call you. And so she goes, she said, go measure it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So maybe Seriously? I yeah. So may, uh, maybe zoning would be the next? <sighs> I don't no, because it's different. Right. I mean, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, oh, what about the assessor's office? That would be a place to start. It's, oh, it's owned by, the, it's a road, it's owned by the town. So, oh, there's a, uh, there's also a, oh, what do they call that? There's some committee or something that deals with streets and roads. Yeah. 
but, no, but, yeah. but I think we should ask the assessors because, so you want to, you want to buy or build a house on a parcel off of Southeast Main, you have to, it's got to be from the center of the road or what, you know, if you have that frontage, you need mm -hmm. to know where that frontage comes. So I would think that they, they would have some kind of width for the road. Yeah, that makes sense. Would that be in the deed description? Yeah. That piece of property, I wonder? I, that's, you know, that's like the oldest turnpike in the country. <laughs> it was a, the original, one of the original turnpikes. Because if you leave the common, right, you and you just stay on the street, <laughs> there's a twist around the like Western you end up Hotel. In you end up in Providence. So there's got to be some deed or something with it. Mm -hmm. Didn't you say there was a sale pending sign on that house finally? Oh, I went by the Monday, I think, last Monday. I didn't see a sale pending. I just went by it and there was. Okay. Oh, really? It's good. Dave, is that Saturday that I said that? Yeah, Saturday. <coughs> I saw it through Saturday. Great. Well, I'll ask the assessor. I guess so. I mean, Yeah, because how do, how do they know if they're... How well, the back, you know, front to back of the lot, yeah, according to how wide the street is. Yeah. Because otherwise they could put their, I mean, people go by the stone walls or whatever, but they could be putting their... That was close to the street. Or yeah. yeah. Or something. I don't know. There must be a way. Or he could give you an idea mm -hmm. to how best to do that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Measure the road. Their new business first. Oh, did you find anything out about the budget? No. Because it's really, I mean, it's in, it's, you go back through that annual report and it just shows $100 to me, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know where the 600 came from, but. because yeah, it was on the for this spring when that yeah. came out. So whatever the vote on, yeah. on that was. The 600 came up then? Mm-hmm. Yeah. to um, Jen Couture mm -hmm. asking if there had been any new any development plans submitted. She said there had been conceptual plans submitted. A couple of those. I'm like, okay, there's a step there that I didn't know that we could find out earlier. Yes. Conceptual for what? So. She didn't say that. That was just a quick email. She says, conceptual that Matt knows about. I think after the meeting, I may stop in there and just say, let's see these conceptual plans. Yeah, I talked to someone on zoning. They said 16 lots had been, A&R lots had been approved along Southeast Main. the last Conservation Commission meeting and they were discussing about how the lots, nine lots or three lots, not sure which, on Southeast Main have, you know, they have to have DPW um, numbers and um, they have riparian 
streams through there and they need to be there they need a plan before they can just start selling these lots and that it's because it's probably going to be what they call it a, a continuation like not just these three or nine but they're going to keep going that then there needs to be some sort of a subdivision idea that they said um Um, anything for lots? I think it's uh, after four lots, it's considered somewhat of a subdivision. But if if there's going to be more than four lots, then it's going to be a continuation sort of thing that they need to plan because they said that they couldn't just like when. Okay, the four lots might have passed through without any plan, but the fifth lot's going to get loaded with it because they, they're the ones that are going to get nailed mm -hmm. for the whole thing, that they basically should start from the beginning and, and have, a, have a plan for the whole area on how the drainage is going to go. And yeah. But according to the zoning, you don't need that because as long as they have the appropriate frontage, for, the, for each lot, they, that's why it's an A and R approval not required. So I don't know where they're drawing the line there. Well, there's wetlands in there, not and right. I mean, so you still have to have enough to configure your septic and all that because there's no water or sewer down there. But I don't know. I'm just curious. Yeah. So it's all been continued to the next, the whole area, like all those lots have been continued to um, the meeting, Con Conservation Commission meeting on the 18th of September. Because he's gonna want a waiver for a septic leach field and all sorts of things. And we've got the consultant, Brandon Benoff, that's consulting for us. It's good, it seems like on video. Anything else? I was, I was thinking of an old thing is um, now that Steve Zisk is gone and we wanted to see the old growth forest that he knew about that we could write him a letter at his home and ask him to show it to us. Is that appropriate, do you think? Or just call him. Yeah. 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 I was just going to say, I was, you know, let him a little note or say that we want to thank you on behalf of our committee for your many mm -hmm. years of service and that we were, we heard about an old growth forest in Douglas at we hope that maybe he could take us out to look at it. Sure. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, so did you have something? No, that's about. It. No, for I was thinking about next next meetings and towards the winter. I think it would be good if i mean it's in our plan but if we started looking at what do we need to do to put together a, i'm going to depend on you becky like a trails committee or a stewardship committee because we have conservation and different places that the trails need work and i know other towns might have committees or or do we work with um another organization or something like that to to get them cleaned up or passable. Come because sometimes there's a deadfall and everybody looks at each other and goes, somebody else's job. Yep. And then so I would just like to I think that's a good thing to start looking at. How do we deputize people or if somebody joins the trails committee in town, what you know, do they need to sign a waiver and the, you know, the legalities of it and that kind of thing. So I'd like to start that and uh And Gordon's into the invasive species. Maybe he should be 
<laughs> figuring out how we attack those as a little subcommittee. Well, that's working with conservation too, because some of that property, like uh, Charlie, what's his name, French, right? The French property. Do they? Mo they're supposed to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mikowski, is yeah. it Mikowski yeah. Drive? They're supposed to um, brush hog that every so many years, and but that's driven from conservation committee mm -hmm. commission. So I don't, I don't know what their plans are. So maintenance of conservation land should be their area. Mm -hmm. But we're talking like, you know. Sides of the roads. Sides of the roads. That's roads highway. I'm just going to say that's not in our right. purview because if it's sides of highway, that's the highway department. No. You know, the problem is that, <clears throat> at least on my street, they don't, one of the most effective, like, uh, for uh, knotweed. Mm -hmm. You have to keep cutting it. Well, but if they don't cut it until September, that means it's had super growth season. All that time to get right. more food to their roots. Yeah. Right. So, do we have a plan to cut it more frequently? Do we have a plan to address those kind of things? Mm -hmm. I don't my, know. my concern with North Street is that they're going to start bulldozing it and they're just going to spread the. The rhizomes. But go more. talk to them. Yeah. That's highway department. Highway department. Yeah. You know, and tell them that we'd be willing to, you know, consider to help out or whatever if there was an issue that we were needed. But, you know, I, don't know. I mean, they usually rip everything out and then reseed. But where do they put that stuff they ripped out? Right. It's just going to put that problem somewhere else. Yep. We could tell them that we could do a little survey for them and that, that we would be glad to let them know where the hot weed is on, on the sides of the road. But you go by, you know, I look at Sally Hill's whole shoot is all not weed. Glen Street. Yeah. A Street. Glen. But A, the one that goes by the river. Mm -hmm. A is up. By the cemetery, yeah. yeah. That's bad. That's bad. But they're not ripping that up. That's yeah. My yeah. concern is spreading right. it somewhere else. Yeah, that would be the first place to get rid of it. Ask them what they do with it. Yeah. Then we can go from there. Mm -hmm. If we don't think that's enough. If anybody, you know, sees it, write it down, and we can get a survey of it. Plus the open space follow-up, that would be another, like, big thing in the fall, is just to kind of prioritize things, look back at what we're going to do in one year and what we're going to do in mm -hmm. two years. <coughs> Go to the mm -hmm. southeast me, southeast section of town. I can't even remember the plan. So we just did the the open space and recreation plan, and I can't remember exactly what we had identified in the southeast quadrant, if anything. I don't think we identified anything specifically. I think it was just generalization, maybe. Yeah. Um, then we, I think it was incumbent upon us to start looking at everything that we yeah. have, prioritizing um, areas to target. So I sort of transferred the brooks onto my map. Those are those yellow lines, which to me is the most important in making sure that they're running well. 
Well, that Green, Greenville Brook or Greenwood, whatever it is, is mm -hmm. specifically mentioned um, in the old master plan. Right. Which one is Green Book? This is Green Book. And then this is Chocolate. Oh, yeah. of the master plan was open space trails and recreation sites should be linked to each other and to other communities. It would be great if we had a trail, a riding trail that would be able to what make a loop or connect to another trail. Loops of connections, yes. Yeah. Yes. So you've got you've got the Keegan property here, the Mikowski down here. Okay, is there some way that we can, you know, network to get these connected? What can what can we do to make the connections? And and local trails within the community. Because there's what happened with that whole thing with that. This piece on Hemlock too. That was the bank was going to foreclose on it. On yeah. Hemlock? Yeah. Yeah. This one. Okay. <clears throat> If we looked at that part of town, I mean, what else does it, what else does it need? It has no park, right? Nope. There's no protected open space. Well, the only protected open space, sorry, is Keevan, the Keevan property. But the access is the issue. Yeah, so I have blown this up off of the uh, the map from the open space. So just to see where you've got the purple is undeveloped land. So this is Mikowski, that's key. So this is all chapter 61 right here. That's chapter 61. So I mean, you can see where you might be able to start making some connections. Well, this is taxes unpaid, right? This piece is purple. Mm. That's what I have it as from a while ago. Uh, when but I they just have it listed as undeveloped land. Yeah. So it's owner is known. But. No, I'm just thinking as far as resources go for that section of town. Right. What would we like to see there, like 50 years from now? Or well, I've heard that the water department meetings talk about that they might need a new place that was designated as a possible aquifer area, the um, the old Taitupa farm area. Okay. So they might need another, with all this increase in population, that might need more water resources. Well, it's not only increasing population, it's quality. Yeah. But that could be, I think that can be dual use, right? Mm -hmm. You can have passive recreation on mm -hmm. uh, water shed protection. Yes, if there was just uh, a town, a uh, big, big well, wild type thing, I would think that that would be yeah, blocked off just 
Bengals just because of that. Oh, you mean but, yeah. like a water tower? Yes. Yeah. But other than that, um, yes. So when they do an area like that, they need to have a, a large area to collect the water? Well, they might have wells, but the area around it is for protection. Right, so they need the yeah. wells, they need the area. So, so that, quite a bit you know, of area. they should be looking at some of these. There are lots of places, but... No, but I mean, you could you could combine that so that... Combination you have, of both, right. You have protection, but you also have places for mm -hmm. passive recreation or... I mean, it, well, I don't, I don't know how much the recreation committee is doing because it would be great to know what their sort of expansion plans mm -hmm. might be versus just the fields at, uh, what is it, the VFW Martin. Hall, mm -hmm. yeah. Martin Road. Downtown, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we... Up Martin Road to what it could be, then that would be maybe just a, a recreation field or something like that of any kind of recreation. Just open, like we could have it in Kowski Drive if we brush hogged it and had access to that. Yeah, but that's, that's not for a field or anything. I mean, uh, that's not for a soccer field or anything that's been that needs to be maintained. That's just open mm -hmm. for, for wildlife. I think the biggest thing is trails. There's so many different ways you can use trails. Okay. You cross country skiing in the winter time. Biking. Like, yep. A lot of people on bikes in the snow nowadays. Yep. Right. Fat tires. So. Mm -hmm. That would give the, the the communities, the people living in those areas, if there was a network of trail systems to use, would be the most beneficial. And then work on trying to link everything so it's you can link link communities and neighborhoods. maybe focus as much on or more on easements so easements or whatever we can with this chapter 61 to yeah wait that chapter 61 is all uh, between Orange Street and Southeast Maine yes I don't think it's chapter 61 anymore you took it out all of this that's where we walk, right? I don't think it's all taken out yet. I it's think they were, they were only taken out. This little, uh, whatever he owns in there. He, for that to all come out of Chapter 61? No. The only notices he gave to the town were for those lots that he wants to build. Yeah. He, oh, okay. That would so have to be. the rest of it is still under 61? Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, my goodness. That's yeah, great. That's, he, Okay. No, I, I thought it was gone forever. Mm -mm. Yeah. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, there, there's, there's this whole big section still in the middle here. Okay. It's 100. Besides the lot. Three acres or something like that, which contains most of Greenbrook. Uh -huh. Yeah. Nine lots from. Yeah. Form A to be withdrawn from the chapter as six. He, he, he's only taken out the lots that he wants to build on. So you've got actually it's 139, 139 acres left. He's calling that lot 13 right now. Out that out that big one. That's not counting all of the other lots that he has yeah. in here, which are chapter 61. Yeah. 
So if we could figure out some points to figure out where the best trail network could happen. So we impose that on property before we're like picking and choosing between frontage lots. Mm -hmm. That would be helpful, I think. Well, there is a big, there's a few inroads he's got along here already. I thought her house was for sale, but it isn't. But plus, if some of it's, you start to get close to the Rhode Island line, and is there anything on that side that would be great to link to? The, um, is George Washington or is high, uh, No, the Fisher Game Club. Yeah. Is it Burville? Round Top Fishing Game Club? Because I was top. actually Round looking top. at, because that abuts property that he owns. I think it's Round Top. Round Top, yes. Because I was half thinking at one time, like, oh, wouldn't that be nice if we had trails in there and we could park at the Fish and Game Club and then ride those trails and... So let's think, you could park at Round Top. Does everybody Round know tops. what we're talking about? Round I think so, yeah. east of Orange Street. Yeah. I mean, west of Orange Street. Yeah. So that's down here. Oh, I see. He does own that side of Orange, doesn't he? Yep. I know. Well, I, some some I place mean, at home, I actually looked it up. Yeah. I printed out the mm -hmm. property that they own to see what it abutted above in Massachusetts. But in some respects, forget who owns what. Yep. Okay. So if you're at Round Top, because it has enough room for a trailer, a couple trailers or whatever, at least. From there, how how would you go north and east or north and be able to do some kind of a loop that sort of keeps you mainly off road? Mm -hmm. uh, we probably, you know, maybe we don't have all the. I'd have to dig out some maps and resources we need, but maybe we need a. We could have a separate meeting just to look at that or just to see how we could create some trails and what we would need. Maps on the community room. Yeah, there is. Taken down. Yeah, and this, there's, you know, there's wet down there too um, on that west side of Orange Street. So that's, yeah, this circles are. And you've got two big parcels that are butted on, but well, butted on this side, Chapter 61. Then across the street, Vine Street, you've got that whole piece too. There, there's a perfect opportunity right there to. Right, because and it's wet over Baiting Brook and everything. Mm-hmm. It's too bad you couldn't just have trails that followed the river so you could keep it, keep them both nice, you know. Right. 
could ever get out to access from Keevan to Pine. And then, you know, that's not that far of a stretch to go down Pine to hit any of this mm -hmm. property right here. This. Yeah, because Orange turns into Collins Taft Road. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is Orange Street and going south. Then this green is all round top. Mm -hmm. And then it goes out to, well, Brook Road, but it's right off of 96. Is it the witch's house? So you'd have a really nice. There's a big power line thing going across mm -hmm. Round Top oh, Street. Yep. We're doing that. So, all right, that's one option we we could. I would say definitely the remaining 139 acres of this urban <coughs> property up in here would be good to protect because you've got Greenbrook, which the town was very interested in, um, and that would be a good nexus for just start with a trail system in there. So we, we can just, for this, we can call it the Greenbrook Trail. For this, to identify mm -hmm. with this exercise. And then where could that go? Could that connect to I have to look uh, at maps some more. I that, you, if you could come out onto Perry Street, I don't know if we could eventually work our way over to Mikowski, which would be, because this is, this is Greenbrook right here. So this is all chapter 61 down here. So I could get up someplace here to Perry, you got Mikowski right here. I don't know if there's any way we could, you know, easement or something to connect those two properties right there. I don't know who it owns this either. But then you end out, what, you end up out on Southeast Main Street? Um, nobody knows what's that. That's a question mark. Well, it's, it, it, this here would be like, you would want a loop system in here. Loop figure eight or whatever. So this could be a place to co park. Then you could access here, go across, recreate in here. Oh, I see. And with okay. over, over time, that you know, it would be nice to have some parking in here. But he's got um, there's access in here too, off of off Pine. No, nope, Southeast Main. Southeast Main. So somewhere's off in here. There's access to the property. There's a right away, right here. Right away up in here. Kathy, can you see? Or yeah. I think I'm following along. But yeah. I'll come over. And somewhere down in here with this lot we were looking at where we parked would be a nice area for parking too. So you would spread out your parking and access points. But I mean heck, you could go here, you could go all the way down to here. Right. You could go over to here. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. Oh yeah, wouldn't that be nice to go all the way down to here and then hook back up into this way? Because these people haven't paid their taxes. Well, yes. but you got to be not. careful with that because... Yeah, no, they might not. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's a delay know. and then you just... Mm -hmm. yeah. And then this right here. Okay, what's the, the blue triangles? Um, that's the different classifications of Chapter 61 oh, Forest. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's all 61. 60, okay. yeah. And do you have to ask like the owners if you can do that or? Is well, just, just this piece right here. Kathy, this is the one that he just pulled out. So this piece right here. Right. This is where he just pulled out okay, yeah. two lots right here. We're looking at lot number 12 as a possible parking lot. And then 
whole lot yeah. southeast Maine. See all these house lots? Right. But there's a, um, there's a right away right here to get in. And he's got a lot of dealing with BPW with those, those streams going through there. So right now, this is all still open. Because he owns all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this, and I think not that. Not that. The person that owns this owns a piece over there, and it's just hard to see and bail over there. Well, that's a lot of great. That's a lot of wetlands now. See, this is chapter 61, and this is chapter 61. So those two would be definitely important to expand the area. Yeah. This is that place that was going for foreclosure by the bank. Right. Okay, so you can come out to Hemlock Street. There's a chapter 61 right here. There's another chapter 61. Okay, you can go from here, here, to here, to Chestnut Street. Oh, look at this. You can hit Tinkerville Brook property. Is that 61 too? That is who we're walking with. Yeah. yeah. But this is the town property right here, Tinkerville Brook. So, yeah, there's definitely possible connections here that will be awesome. You know, a lot of a good trail system here would alleviate some of the crowding that you're seeing in the state forest, too. So those parking lots are bombed. Yeah. Well, it just, it's like, what was the thing for when they started with trails, American trails, you know, trails within 15 minutes of every house. Yeah. Right. What was the goal for America? Well, it's, I mean, we didn't put it in the, th in the plan, but we can make that a goal for Douglas. So should we get some more maps together and everything and have a separate, maybe a separate meeting that just pulls together some of these concepts? Because if we go into a meeting and just say, oh, we'd like to see a trail, right. no, they can't envision it. Yeah, we need to have something mm -hmm. yeah. And maybe even before the 18th when they have the, the whole Conservation Commission meeting, we can appear and say, you know, well, that's a great access, but we would like you know that 10 feet or whatever that we can get in there somehow yeah but well. we can't we yeah. can't bargain for 10 feet anymore yeah, no, it's got to be a real yeah. access point because otherwise it's like it's too too narrow yeah no we the Keevan, is that 25 feet? No. 14 or something. Yeah, yeah. something. So. Well, I'm up for getting together and putting together a plan for a little trail through there. I can bring my topographic maps and yeah, our assessor maybe can kind of something. Well, I think it would be helpful to have at least a loop com concept so that we can say, look, here's the potential. Mm -hmm. Right, there's so much land there, you can easily give up a little bit to make a loop. Especially when there's water. 
interest in the master plan yep. and all that stuff. Well, and I'd like to see if we can, you know, look at a round top linkage too. And then if there's an aquifer protection section, that's for other potential combinations of recreation. Mm -hmm. Meeting is on the 18th, and this is the 12th. I wonder if they, he's become familiar enough with the, the, the GIS software, because he said he, one of the capabilities was to pull out the Chapter 61 properties, unless we just want to work off map, maps like this. It's nice to have the bigger scale. Yeah, I just blew this up. Yeah. They're meeting Monday nights? Okay. That was Labor Day. It was in class. Well, I don't know if we have to have it by the 18th, but we could at least be at the, or, or say at the meeting that we're working on, on some sort of a trail concept. Because I don't know if, I don't think it's the conservation's jurisdiction, I don't know. But we could at least share that at the meeting and then, I don't know, next week, whatever works for our schedules, we can. So Try to get in together. Front of them to be thinking about it. Yeah. But then we could, you know, we could meet again before. When's our next meeting? Yeah. Yeah. I can meet the beginning of next week. I just, I don't think we can rush to be able to put some really <coughs> concrete together for the Conservation Commission meeting. Yeah, if we could bring a decent map to show that there's, you know, a lot of water in there and a lot of leftover land in there and that, that's, you know, the, the potential with all the other areas just as a highlight rather than an actual trail concept, then that would then, you know, it's not like we are going to set in stone the route and then everybody would have a chance to contribute to that. See how the owner reacts. Right, I think I may be able to download from Mass Mapper properties in that corner right here that are all of his Sherbins. The ones that have been peeled off to sell. Well not well plus all the other ones because we're concerned yeah. about the bigger picture. Right. About possible connections. Right. And use Everything that as that the basis for the marked down already put on there for lots and then work around that or with that. Well, that doesn't mean all those lots are viable. Right. I mean, if he has to do a lot of right, we can engineering or something, then we can possibly have that as an access. Right. Let's, yeah. Uh, talk up. Let's see where the accesses are and where they have to do the engineering and work around that, because that's where we want to be anyway, where the water.
time. Eight. What time is good? <clears throat> One o'clock, two o'clock, same as usual. Two o'clock, two o'clock, good. Hmm? Two o'clock. Two. You can have an official it. meeting here? Yeah. Or we can just look at maps somewhere else. Yeah, I'd say my house, if the weather was good, we could sit outside, but... <laughs> we could sit on the porch at my house. It's pouring all over the room. <laughs> my house is a disaster right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, no allergies at my house. <laughs> Let's just say here, if there's a room available. Yeah, yeah. We can spread out. Two P and... Yeah, and we can look at maps and mirror and talk to the board members. I have this older map. Who was that? I want to say the Heritage Corridor made it or something like that. It, it was green. It had a lot of good stuff on it. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah. There's another one down South Street as well. Be besides Round Top. Like you go farther down and it's... Oh, it's a uh, Swift? No. It's a river. Swift River? No. It's almost like it is, no, like it is Tinkerville Brook continued. Oh, it's really nice in there. It's a trail. You go down yeah. the hill into the trail. Yeah. Yeah. To the Fort River. Yeah. It's really nice. Uh, <laughs> it's farther down South Street. Yeah. Than the left. Yeah. Okay. Mary, that's enough. <laughs> Good. Nutmunk River Trail. Yeah. Nutmunk. Yeah. That isn't tight. That isn't Tinkerville because Tinkerville goes into Round Top. Or maybe it is after Round Top. It's below Round Top, I think. It's a loop. I didn't realize it was a loop. Oh, yeah. 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 Ours you know what I noticed while driving around the loop of what New Sherbert owns is um, on Perry Street, when you turn off of Orange, take a left on Perry, the, the base of the trees have been burned. It looks like there might have been a fire. Was there a fire then? It goes quite a long ways, well, you know, 500 feet or something along the edge. Huh. It doesn't go too high. It's more just yeah, yeah. at ground level. Yeah. Huh. Like some the duff. cigarette out. Yeah, the duff caught. And it would only go so far in the, probably in the spring. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, then. Make a motion to adjourn. Yeah. <laughs> 3.03. So moved. All in favor? Aye. Aye.